Hi Nunus! It is so good to be back and I'm so excited to start this playthrough of Stardew Valley. I want to challenge myself to completing the community center without any playthroughs, without any guides, without any walkthroughs, without watching any of that. This is very, very exciting. I have already started another Stardew Valley playthrough over on Twitch. So if you want to join me live, feel free to. But let's start a new save file. I think I'm going to name it something cute, Bubbles. I don't know why, but I'm kind of obsessed with the Powerpuff Girls as of recent. I'm going to name myself Buttercup for a favorite thing. I'm going to name it Blossom. Why not? You know, if we're going for it, why not? So this is what my character looks like right now. I'm going to darken my skin, obviously. I'm going to give myself two tiny little braids. And apart from that, I will literally just darken my eyes and my hair. And then for community center bundles, I want to keep it normal specifically because I have never played past like spring <laughs> at this point. So we're going to keep it normal, guarantee you're one complete and we're going to say okay. Now I'm going to go for the standard farm and I'm going to skip the intro because it's really long. And just as a little summary of what actually goes on, your granddad tells you that he has a farm. You go to the farm, you meet two people, Linus and Robin, I believe. They show you your house and then they're like, okay, there you go. Welcome to the village. We just got some parsnip seeds. These are 15 parsnip seeds to help us get started. Thank you, Mary Lewis. Thank you so much. And as you can see, the second you get on your farm, it's a very, very dilapidated farm. And even though I don't hate it per se, the, the weeds, the, the grass, all of it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I just want all of it gone. I want all of it to be cleared. So I'm just going to take a second here to clean up and then I'm going to go ahead and plant my parsnip seeds real quick. Planting all my seeds because I want a nice fully grown harvest, obviously. And I want to sell them for the best price possible. I don't think you can do that without fertilizers as of yet. Perfect. All watered up. I'm going to go ahead and chop down some more fiber exactly for that reason. So that I can get some mixed seeds and plant those and see where that takes me. And while I told you that I am using mods, I'm going to try not to use mods that like make my game easier <laughs> but then again i've started and restarted this stupid game so many times at this point that i wouldn't be surprised if i go back on my word if you look at the journal you can see that we have two particular tasks at the moment getting started if you want to become a farmer you have to start with the basics so we need to harvest and cultivate a parsnip some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer so we have to create 28 people Two of whom we've already met, of course, Linus and Robin. Is my luck supposedly good? Because I'm getting a lot of mixed seeds. I've gotten three already. Wow, I've gotten four. Hello, Stardew Valley. Do you like me today? Do you like me or what? What's going on, huh? There's just so much trash. Oh, and it's already 10 a.m. as well. The key thing to know when you are in Stardew Valley is you don't use up any energy when you're using the scythe, which is always a very, very good thing to keep in hand. How do people clean up their farms so quickly? I don't get it. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of the weeds. This is ridiculous. There are so many of them. I have gotten eight mixed seeds though, so I guess that's like a tiny little blessing in disguise. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad that I've gotten so many mixed seeds though. It gives me like a good starting point without having to spend any money. And I think the rest of the day, I am going to just primarily focus on harvesting a lot of wood. This is great. This is quite relaxing, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to clear up some more area over here just so that we have a little bit more space. Let's take the hoe to the ground. <laughs> Why do I think I'm funny? Like genuinely. Sometimes it comes out naturally, other times it's just cringe. It's already 7.10 p.m. What? That happened so fast. That actually happened so fast. Oh my goodness. And my energy has gone down. I think I want to collect enough wood to at least make a chest so that I can keep my belongings over there. I feel like I'm getting so much done, which is a very pleasant thing. Because in Stardew Valley, you feel like you never get enough done. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and build a chest as well as a torch. I do want to see if anyone would be at the salon. So let's go ahead and check that out. I also didn't go foraging today either. A leak. There we go. I love the fluorescent colors. It might just be closed. It's open. That's Clint. 
I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Sounds good. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? He's playing hard to get. He's playing hard to get. This is Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Nothing like a sip of the gold old stuff to warm these old bones. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Salon. Nice. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the salon. That's where I work. Thank you, Emily, was it? It is also getting late, so it's imperative that I head back home. <laughs> I did hear a theory once though that like on the first two days, it is okay if you're not in bed by 2 a.m. That is day one all complete. We're just gonna turn on the fire, make it cozy, and go to sleep for the night. What do we have here? Willie wants us to come and get the fishing rod. We have another task now, visit the beach south of town before 5 p.m. But in the meantime, let's water our parsnips yet again. The agenda for today is gonna be to talk to people, to forage a little bit, to go around and check out some new areas. And of course, to get our fishing rod and go fishing for a little bit. I've done some fishing in Stardew Valley before and I've always loved it. So I'm hoping this time's gonna be the same thing. Running low on Amethyst. Emily, my love, if I had a gem like that, I don't think I'd be giving it to anyone. I think I'd straight up be selling it. <laughs> I'm a little bit greedy when it comes to money in Stardew Valley because I don't think I've ever earned more than 25,000 gold in it. So, yeah. Sorry. Hi, Shane. What? What do you want? Go away. You know, I genuinely don't understand why picking at the trash is like considered bad in this game. Someone else's trash can be your treasure. Yay, we are gonna get our fish. Our first fish of Stardew Valley. Come on, 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 come on. Yes, let's go. And it's a sunfish. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, oh no, now it's not gonna be a perfect catch. A herring. What's it gonna be this time? Ooh, we have a little chest situation. What's wrong with this fish? I swear to God, if it turns out to be a sardine, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, it's a halibut. That's pretty cool. I thought they only came in at night. Seaweed. More seaweed. <laughs> I think my whole day is going to be spent just fishing. Which I'm not mad about. Another herring. Okay. Oh, no more seaweed. Oh. <gasps> We caught a flounder! What? So the reason that I'm fishing so much specifically is because I'd heard you should get a higher level of proficiency in fishing as quickly as possible. In the meantime, we've caught so many variety of fish. We've caught a sunfish, herring, an anchovy, a halibut, a sardine, and a flounder. We've also gotten quite a few perfect fish, so that's good. It seems like at this point, I have spent literally all of my time just fishing, which is not bad because like my energy has not gone down by that much. So I ate the seaweed that was in my inventory and I've got back a little bit of my energy. Hopefully we can go on a little bit longer in the fishing realm, maybe catch some nighttime fish as well. Has anyone ever had a seaweed salad before? It's so good. It kind of makes you want to get some sushi right what no more seaweed i'm not gonna lie stardew valley always puts me to sleep like i play two days of it and i'm just like yep i don't know if anyone else experiences this as well but there are just some games that like put me to sleep so easily and surprisingly animal crossing isn't one of them animal crossing feels much more hardcore than stardew valley at times i'm not gonna lie i've caught 23 fish till now. Come on, is this another halibut too? It looks like it, folks. It looks like another halibut. Fishing simulator, ooh, ooh. I'm guessing this is gonna be another halibut. Yup. <laughs> it was another halibut. Who am I? A fortune teller? Ooh, ooh some seashells. Some pretty, pretty sea- Oh, so many of them. Well, what? Do we think anyone's gonna be in the salon still? I think Shane might be. Yep, Shane is. 
Although he refuses to talk to me, so let's talk to Clint again. Clint, can you stop talking about work for like half a second? Pam, you need to drink a little bit lesser, okay? And Gus, stop being so nice. It pays the bills. I think that's how like most of our generation lives, right? Ah, I'm doing this job because it pays my bills. Nothing more, nothing less. Level one fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. Awesome. <gasps> Level two fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. We got some bait and it's raining. That means we do not have to expend our energy in watering our crops, which is <laughs> a very big plus. So I think we're going to try to go fishing again today. Let's try to go up towards the pond instead. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. Do 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 Way downtown, fishing now as usual. Do 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 Okay, okay, why is it acting so fidgety right off the bat? Why are you acting like this? Can you like chill out? A chub? Not the broken CD. Heck yes. Heck yes. A carp? Carpe diem, am I right? <laughs> Another carp? Carpet D. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you don't want to hear that, do you? Joja Cola. I know that Sam. He's this blonde guy with spiky hair. He really, really likes Joja Colas. <gasps> bubbles. If you try to fish in bubbles, you catch fish like much faster. There we go. Perfect fish. <gasps> oh, look at that. We received an achievement and we caught a bullhead. I swear to God, this is a chub, isn't it? This is acting like a chub. <gasps> Large mouth bass base. I never know how to pronounce it. If someone in the comments can tell me exactly how to pronounce it, I would appreciate it so much. God, stop. Who is throwing all this trash into the pond? Hello? Hello? Okay, okay, please. Please don't be mean to me. Please don't be mean to me. Please stop it. God, I did all of that for a chub. It has been like 10 hours since I've been trying to catch this fish. Have I hacked the game? Because how come the bubbles aren't dying down? I mean, obviously I'm not trying to jinx myself or anything here, but seriously. A purple chub? Is it like iridium, I think? Okay, I think I need to start heading back. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some cleanup on my farm instead because I've caught quite a few fish but I want to chop some trees down now and I don't want to walk all the way back here because I'm lazy even in a game. I know, I know, Anusha, how could you do this? <laughs> That's just who I am, you know? I gotta stay true to myself. Okay, so we're gonna make this land absolutely barren. <laughs> We love deforestation in this house. If you couldn't tell, I was being sarcastic right there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We do not save the trees, save the planet. But yeah, let's chop down some trees as well right now. I literally cannot go to sleep at 2.50 p.m. Even though IRL, like, I would literally love to. Thank you very much. What kind of a doctor closes their clinic at literally 3 p.m.? I've heard rumors of rare and powerful magic rings forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. Is she hinting at the fact that she wants to maybe give me one? Ooh, new character alert. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Why is she being passive aggressive? I'm Haley. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. <laughs> actually, never mind. Someone was feeling spicy when they wrote her dialogue. Child. Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. I am literally in your house. Oh, Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. His hair kind of looks like Goku's from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. And that's Leah. Nice to meet you. Hi. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Well, don't you sound absolutely adorable. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. 
Ew, don't tell me about my grandpa's sleeping habits. There's Pam. Times have been tough lately. I got laid off my job as a bus driver. If I got that job back, I could drive you to Calico Desert. Oh, thank you, Pam. I'm sorry about the unemployment. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. Did he just dismiss me? We're gonna forage for the rest of the day, and I think once this day is done, we're gonna call it a night. <laughs> There's also a thing you can do on PC, which is zoom out. So I've done that just now, just so that I don't have to travel too much. Since I have played this game off and on a little bit, I don't want to expend too much energy. And it's very recently that I found out about this as well. Linus! A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. And with that, we're also gonna call it a day. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Level 3 fishing! Awesome! And level 1 foraging. This is great! Good job, guys! So yeah, that's all from me today. I'm excited to see you all in part 2 of this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got your comfy cozies in. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye!